I'm Bob Hogue, PacWest Commissioner. Let's check out some of the highlights from around the exciting PacWest. Defending a conference title is always a challenge, but the Dixie State Red Storm have been up to that challenge all season long. PacWest champions or co-champs three of the last four years, the Red Storm traveled from St. George, Utah to Azusa in Southern California to take on conference newcomer Azusa Pacific. At the time, the teams were in a virtual tie for first place in the conference standings. Dixie had put together a string of impressive wins during the first part of the year, both in non-conference and conference play. The host Cougars had done the same. As expected, the first half played out at a high level for both teams as Dixie and APU traded baskets in a game that looked like could go either way. But late in the first half, the Red Storm took it up a notch. John Judkins, the defending PacWest Coach of the Year, came up with an offense that found its stride. And Dixie broke open the game and pushed the lead into double digits by going on a 16-0 run. In the second half, the Red Storm came out on fire again as they upped their lead first to 15, then 20 points and more. One of the beneficiaries of this high-powered offense was senior Zach Robbins, a six foot 10 inch center who had his own cheering section on hand from his high school hometown of Upland, California, just a few miles down the road. Eventually, the visitors pushed the lead to 30 points before emptying the bench, and the final score was Dixie State winning impressively 85 to 57. So we really felt like this was an important week, and of course this is a road game. So we've just been focusing on this for quite a while, and I think it showed, and we played together, and we worked hard. Zach, you know, he's got those long arms, and, and that one lob I thought wasn't going to get there. It was way short, but he, uh, he went and got it. And again, he hasn't been healthy. Right now he's kind of banged up, but I could tell he wanted to play in front of all his family. I mean, they had 40, 50 people here cheering him on from his hometown, and uh, it was fun to see him play well. It all comes down to, you know, my teammates had a good pass and, and good back screens and it just worked out. Is it fun? Is it fun dunking? Uh, I think so, yeah. I mean... You're looking over your shoulder there because you can see your head coach, huh? It's an adrenaline rush, you could say. Who doesn't like to dunk these days? I always joke about it and say, hey, dunks are only worth two points. You know, let's, they changed that rule and they're worth three, then let's get more of them. Dixie State moved into sole possession of first place with the win, but Coach Judkins said afterwards he knows that this will be a tough race all the way to tournament time at the end. You always want to peek at the end, but the bad part is you never know, you never know when that's going to be. Um, you know, BYU-Hawaii that one year they went back to the finals, they peaked at the right time. So you got, these games are so important to get a good seed, get a good seed in the tournament, get a good seed hopefully in the NCAA tournament. It hurt us last year not finishing. We lost those last two games on last second shots that moved us from maybe a third seed all the way down to a sixth seed. Um, that, that was tough, that was a tough one for us. So we, we're using that in our minds, in the back of our minds to keep that going and playing the best we can at the end of the year. Robbins finished with 15 points in the victory on 7 of 10 shooting. McKay Massey was team high with 16 points as the Red Storm moved one step closer to earning a chance at yet another PacWest men's basketball title. They'll be back at Azusa Pacific for the conference tournament in early March.